Next we're going to take a look at the revision table integration within Autodesk Inventor. So open up the frame.dwg and from the annotate menu click on vault revision and I'd like you to place a revision table and we're going to dock it into the upper left hand corner. And this will go and pull out the revision directly uh, from the I properties. And let's turn right around and check this DWG back into Vault. Next, go to the Bogey Assembly DWG. And like we did before, go to the Annotate menu, click on Vault Revision, and place a Vault uh, Revision table into the upper left hand corner. And likewise, check in. So now here's something interesting. Let's switch back to the frame.dwg and you'll notice if you go to the vault menu and we bump the revision. Right now this is work in progress and this is at revision A. If we bump the revision one primary goes to B and click on OK. And let's go and check out the drawing. Let's just do a checkout. It'll update those properties back. And as we zoom in to that revision table, because we're still at work in progress, that went right to revision B, as in boy. So now let's go back over and take a look at a different way. So how do we get that to actually um, list down uh, and, and add another revision row? So what I'd like you to do is the in the bogey assembly, I'd like you to change the state to release. We're actually going to cycle this. We're going to move back to released. And then we're going to turn right around and move it back to work in progress. In moving it to work in progress, if you do a right click and check out, okay, so both ways we moved it to revision B, but look at this, because we cycled it through. That file now appends and we now have a revision B. So when you're done, save, check in your work. And what we've just seen is the revision table integration and how it updates with uh, lifecycle changes and, and some of the rules on uh, how it adds other rows to the revision table.